Lieutenant. The feeling is mutual. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no, Dutch Irish. My father was from Wales. These films showcase Leslie Nielsen's ability to bring laughter to various genres, from slapstick comedies to parodies of serious films. I am serious, and don't call me Shirley. Keep in mind that humor is subjective, and individual preferences may vary. There? Give me the strongest thing you got. Here are 10 Leslie Nielsen movies that are often celebrated for their hilarity. I see it pays to advertise on television. I have no fear, my son. We have the Bible. We have our faith. And as a backup, these beauties. Repossessed is a comedy film released in 1990, directed by Bob Logan. Hey! Who are you? I'm your worst nightmare. The film is a parody of the 1973 horror film The Exorcist. Watch yourself, boy. Linda Blair, who played the possessed Reagan McNeil in The Exorcist, stars in Repossessed as well, but this time in a comedic role. Leslie Nielsen portrays Father Jebediah Mayai, a priest called to perform an exorcism on Nancy. Haha, <laughs> you missed. The movie is known for its satirical take on the horror genre and is filled with humor and slapstick comedy. While it didn't receive much critical acclaim, it has gained a cult following over the years for its over-the-top parody of The Exorcist and its comedic elements. The devil is always trying to take over your mind. He'll lie to you. He will deceive you. He will totally try to manipulate you. So do not listen to anything that he has to say. He's worse than a studio executive, understood? Understood. Worse than a real estate agent, a divorce attorney. Ah. I got it. Right. Oh! How do you do? I'm Thomas Renfield, solicitor from London, to see Count Dracula? Dracula, Dead and Loving It is a comedy film released in 1995, directed by Mel Brooks. I am Count... Ah! Dracula. The movie is a satirical parody of Bram Stoker's classic novel Dracula and various other Dracula film adaptations. Leslie Nielsen plays Count Dracula in this humorous take on Bram Stoker's novel. The film filled with slapstick comedy follows Dracula's attempts to acclimate to Victorian England and his encounters with Dr. Van Helsing, Mel Brooks. Hmm, curious. Are you descended from Vlad Tepish, the first Dracula? And Thomas Renfield, Peter MacNichol, Dracula's devoted servant. My god, man! You're eating insects right from the ground! Known for its absurd humor and comedic exaggeration, the movie playfully mocks traditional vampire lore. While not a critical hit, it has garnered appreciation for its light-hearted approach to the classic Dracula narrative. Scary Movie 3 is a comedy film released in 2003 directed by David Zucker. The movie is the third installment in the Scary Movie franchise, known for parodying popular horror and science fiction films, including The Ring, Signs, and The Matrix. What, baby? Sweetie. It stars Anna Faris, Charlie Sheen. Where is my daughter? Are you mad? I am your daughter. No, you're not. <laughs> and Regina Hall, while not the main character of the film. I wonder what President Ford would have done. Well, the buck stops here. Leslie Nielsen has a memorable role in Scary Movie 3 as the President of the United States. I'm thinking, Johnson, what if the aliens could take over human bodies? They look just like us. <laughs> it's happening. My viewers, you'll never take me alive. His character is part of the film's parody of various horror and sci-fi movies. Yeah, you hideous creature! Get off my planet! The film was commercially successful and continued the franchise's tradition of irreverent comedy. Thank you all. Your love has broken the curse and freed my soul. I'll never have to kill again. 
Really? Nah, I'm just screwing with you. I just want to tell you both good luck. It's over, Harrison. But I'm innocent. And Lauren Goodhue is working with him. Why, I don't know. Why? I don't know. But I'll find them. I've got clues. I've got a map. i got the name Highlander and a rubber boat. They all prove that I've been wrongfully accused. Wrongfully Accused is a comedy film directed by Pat Prop, starring Leslie Nielsen. I'd love to have you sit for me sometime. Are you a dog trainer? The movie parodies action thriller films with Nielsen playing Ryan Harrison, a renowned violinist wrongly accused of murder. I'm taking you in. As Harrison tries to clear his name, the film humorously spoofs the conventions of the genre, incorporating slapstick humor and absurd plot twists. This fiddle player will be hungry, famished, starved. His last meal was 12 hours ago. Nielsen's comedic performance, along with the movie's satirical take on espionage and wrongful accusations, contributes to its lighthearted and entertaining atmosphere. While not a critical success, the film is appreciated by fans of Leslie Nielsen's brand of comedy and parody. Let me guess. You are Dick Steele. Asian WD-40 with the Secret Service. Spy Heart is a comedy film directed by Rick Friedberg starring Leslie Nielsen as Agent WD-40, Dick Steele. My God, look at you. You are such an incredible man. Serving as a spoof of spy and action genres, the movie follows Steele's comedic attempts to thwart the evil plans of General Ranker, Andy Griffith. <laughs> Filled with slapstick humor, visual gags, and satirical references to popular spy tropes. This tape will self-destruct in three seconds. While not a critical favorite, the film entertains with its light-hearted parody and remains appreciated by fans of Leslie Nielsen's humorous style. Pendant. Hmm, haven't seen too many like these. My name is Sergeant Frank Griffin, Detective Lieutenant, Police Squad, Special Division of the Police Department. There'd been a recent wave of murders at the city zoo. I was bringing in a suspect. Police Squad is a television comedy series that aired in 1982 created by Jim Abrahams, David Zucker, and Jerry Zucker. I'm going over there, Frank, and try to get behind him. Cover me! The show is a spoof of police procedural and detective shows. Leslie Nielsen stars as Detective Frank Drebin, the main character in the series. We've got men covering all the exits. Despite its creative approach, the show was short-lived, lasting only six episodes. However, its cult following led to the creation of the successful Naked Gun film series, where Leslie Nielsen reprised his role as Detective Frank Drebin. Frank, now if you're right, she's already killed two men. You better watch your step. Hi, Frank. Nice to see you. Ed, I've got that data for you on the bomb. Good. What did you find out? Well, the explosive itself is a very fine powder. It tastes like... That would be fertilizer, Frank. It's for another case. The Naked Gun 33 and 1 3rd, the final insult, is the third and final installment in the comedy film series. Cigarette? Yes, I know. Directed by Peter Siegel, Leslie Nielsen reprises his role as Detective Frank Drebin. These pictures were taken by a news photographer. We think this girl was used as a diversion. We had them enlarged. I look familiar. No, no, Frank, the pin. The movie follows Drebin as he returns from retirement to prevent a terrorist plot at the Academy Awards. Filled with slapstick humor, <laughs> visual gags. I can barely catch my breath. Turn it over to Raquel. Raquel, I'm used to being out of breath, working out to my video. What the hell is he doing? And satirical references to the film industry. The comedy maintains the style of its predecessors. Why don't you give the man back his letter? Buzz off, butter cheeks. While not reaching the critical acclaim of the first two films, it provides a humorous and entertaining conclusion to the adventures of the bumbling, yet endearing Detective Drebin. This place here changes a man. Oh yeah, in what way? I used to be white. I was the drummer for the Osmonds. Hector Savage from Detroit. Hey, I remember this, Pug. You sure know your boxing? Well, 
All I know is never bet on the white guy. The Naked Gun 2 and a Half, The Smell of Fear, is a comedy film directed by David Zucker, the second installment in the film series. Expert in this field. Uh, Mr. President. Starring Leslie Nielsen as Detective Frank Drebin, the plot centers on Drebin's investigation involving a powerful energy corporation and their attempt to replace the U.S. energy czar with an imposter. My fee is one million dollars. The movie maintains the franchise's signature slapstick humor. Give me the strongest thing you got. Visual gags. and satirical style, mocking various genres and cultural references. Nielsen's comedic performance How you doing, Tripper? and the film's absurd situations contribute to its humor. While not surpassing the original, it continues the entertaining adventures of the bumbling yet lovable Detective Drebin. What's that smell? Oh, that would be me. I've been swimming in raw sewage. I love it. I love it! Lieutenant, the feeling is mutual. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, Cuban? Uh, no. Dutch Irish. My father was from Wales. The naked gun from the files of police squad. Police! Throw down your guns! is a comedy film directed by David Zucker, starring Leslie Nielsen as Detective Hello. Frank Drebin. Drebin. Frank? You're both right. A spin-off of the Police Squad TV series. Use your open eye, Frank. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. It follows Drebin's investigation into an assassination plot against Queen Elizabeth II. Bingo. Filled with slapstick humor. Nice beaver. Thank you. I just had it stuffed. Let me help you with that. Visual gags. And clever wordplay. It's true what they say, cops and women don't mix. The film satirizes police procedural genres and became a comedic success. Nielsen's deadpan delivery <laughs> and the movie's absurd situations contributed to its popularity. Number one. Captain, how soon can you land? I can't tell. You can tell me I'm a doctor. No, I mean, I'm just not sure. Or can't you take a guess? Well, not for another two hours. You can't take a guess for another two hours? Airplane is a classic comedy film directed by Jim Abrahams, David, and Jerry Zucker. We have clearance, Clarence. Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Starring Robert Hayes, Julie Haggerty, and Leslie Nielsen. What the hell's going on up there? The movie parodies disaster films with a hilarious narrative about a flight in crisis. What flying experience have you had? Oh, I flew single-engine fighters in the Air Force, but this plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying, altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind, kind of, of flying. flying. Filled with slapstick humor, visual gags, and memorable one-liners. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Leslie Nielsen's deadpan delivery, especially in his role as Dr. Rumack. You were doctor? That's right. Airplane is celebrated for its irreverent and absurd humor, influencing a generation of comedies and earning a reputation as one of the funniest films of its time. Get a hold of yourself! Doctor, you want another phone? Everything's going to be all right. Sister, what are you not going to handle this? Do you agree with our list? Yeah! You bet you do. Which Leslie Nielsen hilarious movie is your favorite? Then I want the pleasure of killing you myself. The pleasure is all mine.